Hey everybody, it is General Heat here. How is everyone doing today? So, for today's video, it is indeed a Wacky Saturday video. <laughs> uh, as you can see, we are going to be playing as <laughs> not a fish, not a rat, not a seagull, not a uh, quad wing pterodactyl kind of bird or a butterfly. We are going to be playing as the one and only Jason Jones. So for those of you who don't know who Jason Jones is, he is the uh, co-founder of Bungie, the studio that created the Halo series and made Halo 1 to 3 and ODST and Reach. Uh, so, how did Jason Jones get into this game? So for those of you who don't remember, I've never seen this before, and tip here, I, I believe this is an achievement for the Master Chief Collection version of Halo 3, if you don't have it yet. Uh, on a mission Halo, the last level of Halo 3, if you go into this little cave here in this room, there's like a there's like a hidden room here. If you you know grenade jump across with the cowbell skull, and it might take several tries. It's kind of tricky sometimes. If you jump across this like dark uh, crevasse, and then um, you come over here to the back corner of this room, you will see a floating Jason Jones in his underwear. <laughs> it's a little Easter egg in Halo Three that um, that it's not too hard to get to, but it's been there since you know day one, and it's just. <laughs> It's like a little image of Jason Jones and his underwear just floating up and down. So in the past, uh, I've done like some wacky like scenarios, like Warthog runs with certain creatures or uh, boss fights against the creatures. I decided to do a boss fight again this time around, and I replaced Guilty Spark again this time with Jason Jones. Uh, it's like a floating Jason Jones now, and it's it actually worked pretty well making Guilty Spark Jason Jones. It's just it's hilarious, and like when I first saw it, I just like nearly burst out laughing. Um, just seeing like, it, it's like almost like a ghost actually, and then like when Johnson shoots him, he just like freaks out and like flies around and lands over there, and I don't know, it's just something about it, it's just, <laughs> I can't I can't even take this false fight like seriously, but yeah, so <laughs> up against Jason Jones, it's uh, <laughs> I, I don't even know how to really describe it, it's, it's the most, one of the most bizarre things I've ever like seen or created in Halo 3, uh, and yeah, like, it's more probably more bizarre than any other creatures we've played at so far, but, yeah, so, <laughs> that's, uh, that's basically the boss fight against Jason Jones. <laughs> the true enemy at the end of Halo 3 is he had to take on the co-founder of Bungie in that case. Uh, but yeah, so enough of that wacky scenario. Let's actually take a look at what Jason Jones is capable of in Halo 3 when you play as him. So as you can see, surprisingly, you can actually pick up and fire weapons as Jason Jones. Uh, a lot of creatures are not actually able to do that. The only ones that we've seen so far are the uh, the rat and the butterfly that could pick up and fire weapons. Uh, all the others, the seagull, the fish, um, the uh, the quad wing bird, they can't pick up or fire weapons. But Jason Jones, he actually can. And just a quick uh, thing that I want to mention out: the uh, Jason Jones Easter egg actually also appears in Halo 2 during the uh, Gravemind cutscene in Legendary. Um, Meaning, it's actually technically possible to also play as Jason Jones on Halo 2. But if you do it on Halo 2, you actually can't hold or use weapons. Um, so I just want to point that out in case you were curious if you could play this as him uh, on uh, Halo 2. But yeah, so as you can see, he can pretty much use any weapon, he can even use turrets and fire them. However, just like the rat and the, uh, the butterflies, while you can pick up melee weapons, you can't use them. You can't swing them, you can't can't do anything with them, you can only just hold them, or drop them, or pick them up. Um, it's actually funny the way Jason Jones holds the uh, the gravity hammer. It looks like he's jumping on like one of those like pogo sticks, um, except it's just a gravity hammer, and he's he like holds it between his legs <laughs> that way. Um, but yeah, and the last thing to mention is, uh, by default, you can't die when you play as Jason Jones, in this case. Um, but yeah, I'm actually surprised, like, his character model uh, is actually able to do all this, uh, but, you know, it's fully capable of, it, capable of it. Now, for the rest of the video, we're just going to do a little bit more of uh, co-op campaign gameplay with Jason Jones here, uh, some wacky, silly scenarios. It's <laughs> Now you can see him charging into, like, all these enemies, and, you know, like I said, he is invincible, so I could have done this on Legendary, actually, but... It's just pretty funny, like seeing like him plow through all the enemies, um, and it's actually great that he can hold weapons, because otherwise I would have had to totally rely on the Marines taking out the enemies for me. I, I would only be able to like stand there and distract them, 
um, like I would have had to with some of the other creatures we played as in the past. Uh, but yeah, any weapon is uh, fair game. Uh, now, while you can pick up like tur turrets and stuff, they have to be detached. I forgot to mention that earlier. Because, just like all the other creatures, you cannot drive vehicles. And a turret, when it's still mounted, it is a vehicle. Which means you can't get on and rip it off, so you have to knock it off. And uh, same with vehicles, you can't hijack them, you can't board them, you can't drive them. Now according to my friend, if you're not the host, apparently sometimes a notification to board a vehicle does come up. I'm not sure, I couldn't quite verify that, but that's what he said, but you know, I didn't see any notification on my end. Uh, anyways, so there you guys have it. That is what it's like to play as Jason Jones, the co-founder of Bungie, in Halo 3. And that basically wraps up our Wacky Saturday video for today. And if you guys did enjoy this and uh, found it to be interesting or hilarious, uh, make sure to leave a like as always and leave your thoughts in the comments. If there's anything else for me to try out or look into or test out, you know, as always, just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to get around to it. Uh, but other than that, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.